We released today our um, results uh, for the global intellectual property systems that are administered by uh, the World Intellectual Property Organization, namely the Patent Co Cooperation Treaty for International Patent Applications, the Madrid System for uh, International Trademark Applications, and the Hague System for International Design Applications. Uh, each of those systems have different geographies. The PCT covers nearly 150 countries, uh, the trademark system nearly 113 countries, the design system over 50 countries. Uh, and what we see is that first of all in the patent area which is concerned with new technologies, uh, some 218,000 international patent applications were filed uh, in 2015. Uh, the longer term trend that we see there, which is very interesting, uh, is not only that the growth rates that we see in international patent applications outperform the growth rates of the, inter of the international economy or the world economy, which is a small measure, if you like, of the knowledge economy, the increased importance of knowledge-based and technology-intensive industries, uh, but the longer term trend of great interest is the rising share of Asia, in particular Japan, China and the Republic of Korea in international patent applications globally. So Japan, uh, China and the Republic of Korea constituted together with other Asian countries 43% of all international patent applications filed in 2015. That's an extraordinary performance. That's Insofar as this is an indicator of the generation of new technology, 43% of new technology is being produced in Asia now. And that compares with Europe around about 26%, 27%, and uh, United States of America around about 27% uh, also. 20, uh, so it's an extraordinary performance. Now, our other system, which is the Madrid system, it deals with trademarks, which is the principal way of protecting a brand. And brands are, of course, extremely important instruments for connecting producers and consumers. Uh, your brand's reputation and image in the marketplace is going to be the thing that connects in the mind of a consumer uh, the consumer with a particular product or a service. We saw nearly 50,000, 49,000 international uh, trademark applications filed in 2015. That was a growth of about 2.9% over the preceding year, which is a healthy rate of growth. Uh, as far as the top uh, filing countries are concerned, the United States of America is the principal user of this system, followed by Germany, France, Switzerland, United Kingdom and Italy. Uh, in terms of Asian countries, we see coming in uh, at number seven and eight, uh, China and uh, followed by uh, Japan. So um, uh, strong performances there. These systems have been in existence and their participation in them differently, so I think we'll see more activity coming, more use of these systems from Asia, where Japan and, and China are relatively recent compared to the European countries, participants in the system. We'll see more coming from Asia in the coming years. But, of course, the European countries and the United States of America remain very strong generators of uh, new products, new services, and thus new brands that we see. Our third system is the International uh, Design System, the Hague System, we call it. Uh, it's a relatively less mature system. Uh, it has a, a smaller geography, just over 50 countries in the latest evolution of the system. Uh, and there uh, we see important developments because that geography is rapidly expanding, in particular the Republic of Korea, Japan, and the United States of America joined this system in the course of the last two years, and we are seeing, in consequence, very steep increases in the use of the system. Last year, 40% increase in the number of international design applications filed, uh, and pre preliminary indications this year is a growth rate uh, which is of similar dimension. 
uh, the, as far as the top uh, users here are concerned, uh, well, in terms of companies, the top user in 2015 was Samsung uh, Electronics. Uh, so from a, a newly joining joined member of uh, this system. Samsung Electronics followed by Swatch, uh, followed by uh, several other European and uh, American countries, companies. In terms of countries, uh, Germany is the biggest user of this system, followed by Switzerland, France, then the Republic of Korea, which has only been in the system for 18 months.